Hello viewers. Hope you are doing well in this uh, pandemic situation. Uh, stay home, stay safe. Keep your health right. Today, we'll learn how to add a new record in an interactive grid using JavaScript code. To do that, we have, we have used a simplest example here. Uh, here we used uh, a table with only two columns. One is ID and another is name. ID is the primary key and ID value will be populated by a trigger. Uh, we will set value of the uh, column name from an input region and then we will set that value into the integrated grid by JavaScript code. So let's do this. Let's see how the interface is looking. So this is the input region and this is the field name. We will uh, provide the value here. Value here and as soon as we leave the uh, field, the value will be populated in the integrated, uh, in the interactive grid, sorry, interactive grid. So let's see how it is done. First, we have created an integrated in interactive grid called IG demo, which is the name of the table also. Uh, this is uh, a normal stuff. Generally, how we create an interactive grid, this is th that and nothing, nothing more than that. One thing you have to do here is you have to uh, provide an static ID name like this. We have provided, this, since this is a demo video, so I have provided the name as demo. Static ID is demo. So this is only thing we are, we are going to do here. And we will have to additionally add a input region called input region. And we will we'll end, we will uh, add a text field, which is p39 underscore name. This is our setup and this is how it looks. Okay. Now, what we will do, uh, we will create the JavaScript code in the page where it is. This is in here. In, uh, we, are, we have created a function JavaScript add to IG in the interactive grid. Uh, so this is the code this is the code these are all apex provided apis you can learn it from apex apex's documentation uh, now this is the demo this demo is the demo that we have set the static value of the inter interactive grid a region so this is the value and the variable v v name holds the value of this p39 name now create a new dynamic action on the item p39 name okay create a dynamic action it is show no problem i, I am naming this record ig ig okay changes uh, event lost focus item okay no problem this is the now it is now set the to true action will be what can be the action action will be Execute JavaScript code. Now, what is required is this. Okay. Now, let's see what it says. Now, let's check the 
system if it works. Now we'll provide the name. Hassan. See, Hassan is added. Now we'll provide the name. The name is also added. So now this interactive now this interactive grid will work as usual as it should be. There is nothing more we have done here. We the only thing we have done is uh, setting the values from the input region and this is how this is how it works now i will uh, delete this extra row now save see value is saved now we will check if the value is actually saved in the table ig demo data yes Hassan and Mamun. So this is how it is done. Now first we have created an interactive grid which is a by wizard. There is nothing more to show here. Only two column is there ID and name and then we have created JavaScript code in the page level and we have referenced that JavaScript code from this new item. Hope this helps you and thank you for watching. Thank you everybody.